Welcome back. Today we're going to be looking at emojis in Python. And as you're aware, there are thousands of emojis and you can use these in Python. So the first thing is that an emoji is a picture rather than an approximation. So a bit like a text, if you zoom in, it's still clear, it doesn't go all blurry. Whereas with some images that sometimes happens. And that's why it's scalable. And that's one of the reasons they're quite popular, because you can make them bigger and you don't have to worry about them. So if we're going to use emojis, first we have to install it with pip. And you can see that I've already got it installed. We then import it and we can just encode a message. And you can see it's taken this bit and replaced it with the emoji, which is very useful. It means that instead of learning alt codes or looking them up and then copying and pasting them, you can just encode emojis very easily. You can also decode them. So you can see that this is the smile emoji. And you can encode multiple. So you can see this string now has all these animal emojis in. We can also use emojis.get and this gives us a set of all the different emojis and because a set is initiable you can just loop through and print each one. We can also count the number of emojis in a string which I guess isn't hugely useful but it's nice to know how to do and there are six. However you'll notice there are only five here and that's of course because sets don't allow duplicates and so if we set the unique equal to true then you see there are only five. Another thing is there are a lot of emojis and you can actually use this emojis.db and you can get all the aliases. And you can see that if I start to scroll down, there really are loads. And there are even more than it's uh, chosen to display, but we'd have to see it in a text editor. So if you want to find a specific emoji, you can just look it up by its name. And you can see this is the fog. And it's called fog. It looks like that. It has no tags, but it's under this category and you need Unicode 7. We can also get it by the code. So this is the, the code for the cloud with rain. So you can reverse look up uh, emojis as well. We can also see the tags. So you can see there are quite a lot of tags as well. And if we look specifically for the train tag, then it gives us all of these ones that have this train tag. So there's a steam train, the bullet train from the side and from the front. And so that allows us to search for specific emojis in the database to see if they exist. There are also categories and these are far fewer, but everything has a category, whereas not everything has a tag. So of course the fog one didn't have a tag. And that means we can get all the ones that are symbols and unsurprisingly there are loads and loads of these. And of course the most common function is definitely emojis.encode which takes in a string and then encodes it into emojis and that was fun. So hopefully you can now use emojis in Python using the emojis module. You found this useful. And I'll see you again, same time, next week. Till then.